In this video, we'll be learning how to solve two-step equations. Now, this example is a little bit different than what we're used to. Instead of a number being multiplied to the variable, this problem, the number is divided into the variable. So this problem has y over 6 minus 3 equals a negative 11. Now, if I can envision everything underneath as a fraction, I have negative 11 over 11. It doesn't change its value. A negative 3 over 1 value is still the same. And so now I have all fractions in every term of the equation. Now, to get rid of the fractions, I'm going to multiply I side by a common denominator. We're going to multiply both sides by a common denominator. And the common denominator here is 6, 6 over 1. Now let's go ahead and by using distributive property, we are going to distribute 6 over 1 to both sides of the equation. But I'm also going to multiply by 6 over 1 on the right side of the equation. So now, when I have 6 times y is 6y, 1 times 6 is 6. 6 times a negative 3 is a negative 18. 1 times 1 is 1. Keep my equal signs in line. 6 times a negative 11 is a negative 66. And a 1 times 1, there you go. Now you might ask yourself, hey, you didn't get rid of any of the fractions. So let's start simplifying. 6 over 6 is 1, so I have y by itself, minus 18 over 1 is just a negative 18, equals negative 66 over 1 is a negative 66. Now this is, looks a lot better. No more fractions. We got rid of the fractions. Let's just do our one-step equation. Here we have negative 18. To get rid of that, I'm going to have to add its inverse. So positive 18 to both sides. This is going to create a 0, leaving y by itself. And then a negative 66 and a positive 18. Some of you guys might be freaked out because this is not necessarily a familiar number. But which number has the most negative signs or positive signs? The 66 has the most negative signs. There's 66 negative signs here, and there's only 18 positive signs. So there's more. My answer is going to have a negative. I'm going to have more negatives than I do positives. So 66 and 18 is going to, we're going to subtract those two numbers from each other, and we are going to get 48. So our answer is y equals a negative 48. Now let's go ahead and plug it in. So wherever I see a variable, we are going to check our answer. So wherever I see a variable y, I'm going to put parentheses over 6 minus 3 equals a negative 11. When I plug in the negative 48, negative 48 divided by 6 is a negative 8 minus 3 equals a negative 11. Negative 8 and a negative 3, we combine those together, gives me a negative 11 equals a negative 11, and we check. So don't get too freaked out. Math is simple. And so don't let having a division underneath the variable freak you out. You were just remember, hey, I got to take my inverse operations, take one step at a time. Remember what I do on one side, I need to do to the other side to balance out the equation. And then as always, I check my work. All right, guys.